Okay. Hello, YouTubers. Um, uh, by now, you've realized that I have a knack for uh, playing games on PSP that aren't really made for PSP. Here, you can kind of see uh, the image here. Time's running. But I have Trackmania, United, Forever. Yeah, I bought, I bought the game a few years ago. And I upgraded to Forever, blah, blah, blah. You can see my icon up here. Probably better on the computer screen. <laughs> yeah, as you can see, that's, that's the computer screen. That's the game running there. There it is, running on my PSP. The same game. D different perspective because that's 640 by 480 and it's stretched on the PSP. But it actually looks pretty good. I had actually uh, gotten it to where it runs at like 111 frames per second with PSP DISP running. So there shouldn't be any lag in terms of like gameplay. However, there might be lags in terms of me figuring out how to play the game with this camera like this. So, I'm going to try this. And that's that. Hope you saw all that. Here's the replay. <laughs> I wonder if I actually have any replays. I, I apparently have no affirmative button for the PSP right now. I hit start, I hit select, A, X, or not A, B, X, Y, uh, cross, circle, square, triangle. Yeah, Sony's weird like that. But yeah, I've, I've, it doesn't, doesn't accept an affirmative response from any of those buttons, so I'm going to just hit enter on my keyboard. I wonder if I actually have some replays on here. Let's see. Um, I can't remember how to do this. Or no. Profile. It's been so long. I I know there was a way to access replays at one time. Or somehow. Oh well. I'm not gonna worry about it. That's track media on PST done the right way. You actually can read read on the screen. It's it, it's not very clear, but my camera just doesn't pick up how clear it actually is. So, my apologies for that. Anyways, again, that, that is a real PSP. I'm not faking it. And as I hit up and down, you can see the, that blue thing, see how the text turns blue, that's the thing actually selected. You can't see my thumb very well though. So I'll move to a place where you can actually see my thumb so I can prove that it's real. <laughs> this should be a good place. See? Up, down, up, up, down. I said down. Must be lagging from, because I moved away from the router. But yeah, down.
down. It's not a recording. It's actually playing on my PSP. It's just not being uh, uh, rendered on the PSP. It's, the PSP is simply uh, reading video that's being rendered on my computer and it's just streaming it directly. So yeah, uh, so if, if you think you're just going to jump on and play, play uh, Trackmania on PSP, it's best to know how to do it. First, this is what you do. You go, you go online. Let me open up Firefox here. And I'll show you how to do it. You want PSP, BISP, 0.5. It's JJS at Software Projects PSP, DISP. That's where you get the latest version. Even if uh, 0.5 is now outdated, even though that is the current version, it says current version 0.5 right here. But even once it's outdated, you can still get it here. And my cat is licking my my hand. Then, uh, let's see, I know there's a link. You go under download. Yeah, here you go. The latest download will be right here. Previous downloads will be before or below it. But it's for all platforms: Mac, Linux, Windows, whatever. And you load that, it comes in two parts. As long as you have your PSP hooked up through um, USB and you're running a custom firmware to run Homebrew, it will install uh, the program on your PSP when it installs the program on the computer. Of course, it does install a lot of drivers because it actually is a server. So you can see the options of it. That's the icon there. There's all kinds of things that you can do to tweak it to make it run better and make it look right. I actually have it set to high priority mode through my task manager so that the stream is nice and smooth. And this is my cat who seems to want to bug me right now. <laughs> but anyways, you run that and then uh, however you want to do it to uh, Get the screens just just right so it's uh, running on your PSP. Either you want to resize it to um, 720 by 405 resolution in a window, or you can uh, change the viewpoint size here to one of these other resolutions. Since I was running a uh, uh, track mania at 640 by 480 because there is absolutely no uh, support for 720 by 405 or even 720 by 480 in uh, windowed mode. I had to run it in 640 by 480. And then uh, I recommend not streaming audio because it come, comes out of the PSP kind of broken. You get little blips and bleeps of the audio, it do doesn't stream smoothly, and it also uh, lags, it makes the video lag a bit, so I don't recommend streaming audio at this point, maybe in a later version. Um, but anyways, I think that's about it. You can uh, run pretty much any game that your PC can run through PSP DISP, so you can play it on your, on your, PS on your PSP. That's a lot of acronyms. Oh, I almost forgot. Under control, you're going to want to, want to set it to Resident Evil 4. But actually, what I did, since uh, I think Square is mapped to the Enter key, and that's bad for a lot of games, um, you want to uh, go under Customize. You open Control File Folder to Modify, and just uh, right-click and open uh, the RE4 dot control with uh, notepad and it's real simple and if you don't know what key you're pressing there's a scan code 
scan code right here and whatever key you press it'll show what number to put in. Most of the time it's just zero zero and then two characters. Those two characters are all you need. Well that's it.